Uh, man, those blinking red lights on an NES, the, you know, game's not reading, even though you cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and you've tried 20 different games. Uh, if everything else is working on it, it's this. And if you haven't ever seen one of these before, it's the 72-pin connector that goes into your console. Uh, what you're going to do with this, once you pull it out, is take an eyeliner brush. If you have a girlfriend, a mom, uh, a wife, a daughter, any of those people, take their eyeliner brush, clean it up really, really good, soap and water, uh, and you're going to get uh, the highest concentration of rubbing alcohol you can get your hands on to. And you're going to take it, take the brush, get it wet, and scrub. You're going to scrub inside here, inside here. You're going to clean uh, the metal that's connecting there and back there. Uh, then you're going to take an eyeglass, and once you do like this section, this section right here, you're going to take an eyeglass uh, cleaning cloth that you can pick up of kits. A lot of places give them out for free. And you're just going to go and swipe it out and get all the gunk that's uh, in there out of there. Um, and then put it in. Uh, and you're going to clean off the, uh, the connecting pins on the board. You're going to scrub those up really, really nice. You want them looking brand new as possible. Again, a lot of the issues with the uh, uh, it is uh, rust. Uh, these things do rust. Uh, what you can do is you get high grade uh, uh, high grade uh, sandpaper. You know, like body uh, work sandpaper for a car. And you want the finest grit you can possibly get. And you could get a stronger one, but it take you a little more work. Uh, take the fine one and just go over that pen or any rust spots you see and get out and make that metal show back up. And then all you're going to do then is, yet again, take some rubbing alcohol, clean it all up, clean out your connector, and uh, put it all back in. And uh, it should pop on and work. If not, you don't want to take your console apart. You can for 10 20 bucks buy uh, NES cleaner. Uh, those things, they're, a lot of people say they're great. And again, I, I could agree with that. They are really good products. It is licensed by Nintendo. It can clean a 72-pin connector out pretty well. But all that is is rubbing alcohol. It's rubbing alcohol and, uh, you know, a, pretty much a cart cleaner. What I just showed you cost you two bucks. Because that rubbing alcohol, then you can use on all your carts. And uh, make them really clean up and really nice. Uh, the only thing I have a downside on um, doing it this way is, well, there's one way, other way you can do it and, and fix it, and that's spend anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks on a brand new 72 pin connector. And, you know, if I were you, that would be my last ditch effort. I would try everything before uh, going out. And this is a real quick way. It works. 99% of the time. The other times, these things are just so badly damaged, they're not even worth the time to fix them up. Um, so, this is Kellogger. I'm just giving you a helpful, pin, uh, a helpful piece of advice.